there guys, welcome back to Zet and Aki and Adam Just Adam Edition, where today I'm going to be playing for you guys a Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. Minfili is wearing a wry smile. Might it have something to do with your newfound fame? Gods, I hope not. It's just Adam, by the way, in case you're wondering. Until not so very long ago, you were but one of the many adventurers seeking to make their way into Eorzea. But for your character and courage, you were raised to the esteemed post of envoy. Thereafter, you traveled the realm. <laughs> then you personally bested the primal Ifrit. You've achieved a great deal in a short time, and won fame in so doing. Alas, fame does not come without a price, as you will soon discover. <sighs> we have guests. Or rather, you have guests. Do I have to? Oh, for goodness sake. Beg pardons! Ah, Lady Benfilia. Radiant as always. I am given to understand that the signs of the Seventh Dawn have but recently welcomed a new hero into their midst. I am here on behalf of the Maelstrom, Grand Company of Limsa Liminsa, to offer said hero a place of honor within our ranks. As you can see, your recent exploits have garnered you the attentions of the Grand Companies of Eorzea. Each organization would have Ifrit's bane for its own. To this end, all three have sent officers to court you. They would not ordinarily go to such lengths to enlist a new recruit. That they have is evidence of their high regard for you. I find myself wondering how word of Seppo's deeds spreads so quickly. That the immortal flames should know of his triumph is expected, but what of the other Grand Companies? You little rat! Your representation exceeds you. It is no ordinary man who can face a primal and emerge the victor. The Order of the Twin Adder has needed a valiant, has need of a valiant man such as you. Join your strength to ours, friend. Together, let us ensure that peace ever reigns over the Twelve's Wood. What a pleasure it is to finally meet you. My comrades speak of you in the most glowing terms. Why, even before you aided us against the Amalja and their dread primal, yours was already a respected name in Uldah. Our people know you and love you well. A man of your talent belongs with the Immortal Flame. Join your strength to ours, friend, and together let us secure a prosperous future for Uldah. The Admiral was not exaggerating when she said you have the look of a hero. Full often does she speak of you, friend. It is only natural that we should want you for the Maelstrom. Join your strength to ours, and together let us see the grand vessel of Limsa Lamenta to the shores of glory. Can I choose none of you? I feel like I should be unaffiliated. Lady Minvilia. Very well. Though I am quite sure you need no reminding, mayhap a brief summary of the situation would help clarify your thoughts on the matter. As you know, the Grand Companies are all-encompassing organizations empowered to call upon the martial, economic, and technological resources of their respective city-states in times of strife. There are presently three such organizations in Eorzea, the Maelstrom of Limsa Valenza, the Order of the Twin Adder of Gridania, and the Immortal Flames of Ulda. Serving a Grand Company means serving the nation to which it belongs. You will be charged with its defense and tasked with advancing its cause. In return for your faithful servants, you will be... Service... You will be furnished with various rewards, some of which may well prove useful in your other endeavors. If you are agonizing over which of the Grand Companies best deserves your loyalty, be at ease. The commitment you make this day need not be permanent. Should you wish to shift your allegiance at a later date, you are entitled to do so, and yet I can see that this is no small choice you face. Ah, a thought occurs to me. You will, of course, recall that the three city-states are planning to hold a remembrance service. Well, as part of the proceedings, I am given to understand that the leader of each Grand Company will deliver an address. Hearing these addresses ought to help you make an informed decision. What say you, my dear officers? A fine suggestion. You're as wise as you are beautiful, my lady. Kiss ass. Very well. Let him hear our leader speak, then return here with his decision. We eagerly await your answer. You're in a lot of trouble. I know full well what adventurers are by their nature a liberty-loving breed, not best suited to the discipline of military service, but I strongly urge you to join the Grand Company nonetheless. 
While the promise of reward is enticing in itself, it is not the only benefit. You are possessed of great power, and with it you are capable of doing untold good. You know that great power is wont to attract attention, and not all of it friendly. There will be those who wish you ill, and you must needs be on the lookout for them. Yet however vigilant you are, you are but one man. In the midst of a grand company, however, you will be one man amongst many, a friend amongst friends. Your achievements will be shared, and so will the danger. I can think of no better arrangement. Of course, joining one organization need not mean leaving another. I hope that we can continue to rely upon your aim. The Twelve know that we will have need of it in days ahead. The Grand Companies seek to protect their own nation. We Scions, on the other hand, seek to preserve the future of Eorzea as a whole. Similar, yet not quite the same. Now then, I expect you will be afield more often in the future. As such, I would have you carry this Link Pro with you at all times. It will allow us to stay in touch regardless of location. Eorzea is changing, and you have the power to shape it anew. None can say what tomorrow will bring, but so long as we believe in ourselves, there is not we cannot achieve. Now it is time for you to make ready for your journey. Before you depart, be sure to speak to Tataru. She will apprise you as to where and when the Remembrance Services are due to take place. Alright, sounds like I'm doing that. Quest completed. Yes, leave it so long. about all the attention you're getting. I might have sung your praises a little too loudly and often to, to a few too many people. Next time I'll be sure to hold my tongue, literally if necessary. Anyway, I expect you want to know where and when the Remembered Services are taking place. If all goes to plan, Redania's Grand Company and the Order for Twin Hatter will hold the first of the three services, and an elder seat seer, Khan Ezenat, will deliver her address at Mi Keto's Amphitheater. I should probably mention at this point that due to the organization challenges involved in settling all of the involved parties, it's possible that the Order services might change. Still, there's not much we can do about that, so make sure we're done. Make we're done here first quarter call. Next, you'll need to go to Old Town, where the flame general Robon Alden will be addressing the masses at the Royal Promenade. Oh, and it's rumors there, there's to be a special guest. How exciting. Last but not least, you must make your way to the States Room and Lips Limits of Maelstrom Chief Admiral Merlewin Blomswin will be giving her address. The room is accessible via the Admiral's left. Identify yourself with the Sentry Zephthiel and he will admit you. Got all that? Well, off you go. I hope you find the Remembrance Services soon I suggest visiting the city states in my prescribed order, though with your record of impeccable timing and luck, the schedule may well change in favor of your preferred travel plans. Farewell. Gorsh. Uh, order of the twin adder or uh, the male. 
Maelstrom. That feels like an amphitheater over there. Is that a tiny Ifrit? Upset. I'm so very upset. I am so, so very upset by that happening. Waiting. I lost my son to the calamity. The three seed seers are all together. Some say you couldn't take a step without stumbling over a body. Bears were once strangers in the Twelves Wood. Oh, right. I had to advance the text. Fearful of the Green Wrath, they hid themselves in the dark recesses of the earth. Yet they dreamed of basking in the dappled sunlight of the forest. Through great effort, they proved their worth to the elementals and were granted a place beneath the boughs. So it was that Gradania was born, some five centuries ago. Working hand in hand, the Hur and the Elizan settlers sowed the seeds of our civilization. And soon, they were joined by folk of all races. So nourished by the waters of unity, and blessed by the light of the matron, Gradania flourished into the great the nation it is today. You see the Gridanian standard, there, hanging behind the Elder Seed Seer. The entwined serpents represent the unity between Hur and Elizan. An elegant symbol, do you not agree? In accordance with the will of the Elementals, we have embraced a life of peace. Alas, our neighbors have not always sought the same for themselves, nor for us. Though we Gridanians have no love for war, we have still less for those who would threaten our way of life. Ever have we fought to protect the sanctity of the Twelveswood. When the Garlean Empire brought its war of conquest to Eorzea, 
we rallied under the noble standard of the Twin Adder that we might push back the encroaching darkness. And it was we who prepared the ground for the reformation of the Eorzean Alliance, that all the peoples of this realm might stand united against the common threat. Five years ago, the Alliance met the armies of the Empire upon the fields of Cartano. It would prove the bloodiest battle in recent memory. Countless Gridanian lives were lost. As Supreme Commander of the Order of the Twin Adder, ever shall I bear the weight of our people's sacrifice. Alas, their loss was not the only tragedy to befall us that day. For soon came the Calamity. The scars borne by our forest are a constant reminder of its violence. Our lives have been irrevocably changed. Each waking hour, a struggle to survive. Driven to desperation, some among us have strayed from the path of righteousness, resorting to banditry, poaching, and other unconscionable deeds. Know, you gotta do what you gotta to do. compound our woes, the Ixul have returned in force, emboldened by our suffering. They test our defenses nigh without cease and prey upon the vulnerable. So beleaguered from within and without, it is of little wonder that our unity now falters. Dark times are upon us. Time was a man could a walk the high roads itself. without fear. On this day, five years ago, countless Eorzeans laid down their lives that we might behold another dawn. Please join with me in honoring their memory. And how do you propose to honor the memory of those you cannot remember, pray tell? The heroes of light. Or are you just too young to remember? You don't seem too young to remember. The destruction wrought by the Calamity was indiscriminate. It dealt death to Eorzean and Garlean alike. Yet while we have labored to rebuild our homes, to rebuild our lives, the Empire has set about raising steel fortresses here in the Twelveswood. Let none be mistaken. The Garleans remain the greatest threat to our survival. If we are to stand against them, we must remember what it is to be united. Our many troubles blind us to the woes of our fellow man. Thence is harmony lost. Yet harmony is the founding principle of Gridania. We are gathered here to honor the fallen. This looks a little bit like an upside down doofy unicorn. I don't regret what I said. Let them be honored not only in word and thought, but through concerted action. I bid you. Join hands with me once more beneath the Twin Adder standard. And together, let us heal the forest's wounds, that our progeny might live in harmony beneath these ancient boughs. For serenity, purity, and sanctity. We must think of the children. Woods will be done. It's up to us to protect the forest. All the elementals. Something about their ideology that conflicts with my personal thoughts. I can't put my finger on it quite yet. If you'll permit me, Alfie, no. And my sister, Alizé, at your service. 
I saw at a glance that you were a fellow traveler. You might call us students of history, sampling the realm's remembrances in pursuit of enlightenment. Oh, boy.